Hi there, I'm Bina Kavalam, and welcome to my first video newsletter. I'm kind of excited. Um, and uh, I'm, I've always wanted to try this format, and I hope that it works. So let me know if you like it, if you like this versus the traditional word on a page type thing. Um, I'd love to hear from you. But let's get to today's topic. So um, do you keep getting interrupted at work? Do you have a big assignment that you need to get done and then there's just so much noise around you. Um, I remember when I was working in consulting and, and in brand, and I, whenever I would have a big assignment, I would actually reserve a conference room in the building, or I would go hide, where I'd just go and hide and get my work done in silence. And I'd wished I was, would have been able to work from home because I would have gotten so much more work done because you keep getting distracted and interruptions and then people talking here and there, blah, 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 and you're not focusing on the work at hand. So today's topic is all about how do you get focused when there's so many distractions around you? So here we go. Um, so what, there's a couple of different distractions that are around you that we want to discuss. The first thing is just noise in general. There are just a lot of people talking and chatting around you, and they may not be interacting with you directly, but you're hearing their voices. You know, you can hear the dog barking right now. Um, you can hear a lot of different things going around. So the first tip is if you've been distracted by that, and if you're really feeling that's a distraction for you, earbuds. Really simple, really easy. You don't even have to be listening to music. Um, you know, what I started using was earbuds, and then the earbuds weren't working. <laughs> it was one of those like, that place was just so noisy. So I actually broke out the, um, the, uh, those Bose uh, headphones with the noise cancelers and it worked like a, cha a charm. And the other key thing here is that when they see you with those headphones on, they're saying, okay, she needs to be working. She is trying to get her stuff done. I'm not gonna bother her. And when they do, you just don't even, don't even look up because your head's down in work. Um, I've known people who also even just put a sign on their cube. I never did it, but they put a sign on their cube kind of saying, hey, I'm, I'm working here. I got to get some stuff done. Don't bother me type thing. Um, but, so if that think that works for you, do it. But the noise, um, the, uh, the headphones really did work for me. So I hope that works for you. The second type is when you've got those just one sec folks. Oh, just one sec. I need to ask you a quick question. And you're just like, okay. And you really don't want to say, okay. All you want to say is I'm busy. Schedule it or figure it out yourself. You know, especially if you're a manager. Um, you know, this one, when I was a manager, this happened to me all the time was when, you know, new people would come on board and instead of figuring it out themselves, they would come and ask me. And the idea is that, you know, you've got to make them self-sufficient. So they need to be figuring it out themselves. So I started telling them, Okay, don't come to me for a just one second thing unless you have two solutions at hand. And uh, this, is a, this is a tip that I heard and I, I, I had started doing it but never really fully enforcing it. And when I started doing it, wow, what a turnaround. People started really like not coming to me because they would have, they'd figure out the solution on their own. So one tip again is if you're getting a lot of uh, one second people from your reports, just tell them, hey, you know, my policy is you can come to me and ask me questions if you also have two recommended solutions, two recommendations to solve this, solve the problem as well or answer your question. Um, so that might help as well. Um, the third key thing is, and if it's just those just one sec people and they don't report to you, then figure out a way to not have them find you where you're not busy. Okay, so you may be busy working, but you may not look like you're busy. Okay, so here's how to make yourself be busy actually getting stuff done off your to-do list and look busy. So I want you to make sure you keep two lists on your table at all times. Okay, one is your master to-do list. And this is your to-do list for the whole week. You create it on Sunday nights and you basically write down every single major task, meeting, things that you've got to get done this week in your personal life as well as in your professional life. And then on this list, you know, you have the key, you, you prioritize all the key things and we can have a whole, if you guys want, 
let me know, we can actually do a whole separate section on to-do lists and pro project management. Um, but I've got this tip this, this week on my Facebook page. I've got tips this week um, and every week this month on all about managing your projects. Um, and uh, time management. So take a look at that and don't miss out on my on the Facebook page. Um, so you've got your to-do list and you're, every time you've got these major, major items, I want you to take all these major items that you have on your to-do list and break them down into 15-minute tasks, okay? No more than 15 to 20 minutes. So if a task is like create a um, communication plan for company, you're not going to do that in 15 minutes. But you can create the outline in 15 minutes. You can talk to key stakeholders in 15 minutes, or, or maybe I'd outline who you need to talk to in 15 minutes and talk to maybe one of them in 15 minutes. Um, you can do a couple of things and just start to break down your major tasks into smaller ones. But then there are some tasks that the second list is are some tasks that are less than 15 minutes. These are your like more than two minutes but less than five minute tasks. These are the quick callbacks. These are the quick follow-ups, quick emails I need to send out. These are the things that you're going to be putting on that list. If it's more than two minutes, if it's two minutes or less, you're doing it already. Just do it right then while you're making the list. Just do it. If it's more than two minutes, like less than 10, let's just say to less than 10 minutes, then it's time to write it on this list. And anytime you get back from a meeting early or you have a spare few minutes before lunch um, or right before the end of the day, it's a way to get some stuff off your list. So check them off. This way you're really maximizing your time all the time and you're always busy. You're not, oh, sneaking Facebook in there and stuff like that so people think, oh, I can go and say hello. She's, busy. She's not busy. She's just chatting away. Mm -mm. You're busy. Um, and so finally, the, the task is you still get those chatty Cathy's that come to your desk, okay? They just want to chat. They don't even want to ask you anything. They just want to chat. Hey, I got, they've got like 15, 20 minutes. They got to spare and they wanted you to entertain them. And <laughs> you are busy. You've got to get to work, girl. You got a lot of stuff to do. So how do you talk to them? Well, hey, you know, first of all, there's always a place to, 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 to chit chat with your, your, um, the people at work, but it's not at your cube, not at your cube. Okay. Um, whenever somebody comes by your cube and wants to start talking, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get up from your chair and you're going to say, oh, that's a great idea. Okay. And if, and if you want to talk to them, you're going to say, oh, that's a great idea. Okay. And then you're going to literally start to walk outside of your cube and go to the water cooler or go to the coffee area and get some coffee. Just start walking. But they're, what are they going to say? Oh, um, just just if they say anything, just say, oh, I was going to go get a cup of coffee. You want to come? And if they they say, no, I need to, to run, then you just basically make a loop and come back. <laughs> or they will come and get coffee with you. You chat for a minute, you get your coffee done, and you go. Sounds simple, huh? The other situation is when, um, you know, they're at your desk and they are, you know, chatting away and, you know, they say you, they come by your desk and they see you're busy, but they say, oh, Bean, I need to, I need to ask you something. I need you to take, to take care of this. If it's your boss, you're going to have to answer it. If it's somebody else who maybe it doesn't report to you or if it's a key counterpart or something else, use your best judgment and see if you need to take that immediately. Or you can say, you know, I'm really busy right now. Um, can we schedule some time later today to talk through this? And then take whatever they have for you and do it there. Okay, so that is the tips for the day. I hope they helped you. And please let me know if they do. So your task, your key takeaways from here are that you can stop those interruptions and that noisiness and get back to work. Um, because we don't, life is not about staying at work. It's about getting it done and getting on to life. All right. So, um, hope you got something out of today, but please go and like me on Facebook. Um, it's the below here. Um, and also follow us. If you like this newsletter, tell your friends and share it and I will see you next time.